Okay, so now we will prove the next theorem, which is called as factor theorem. Now the factor theorem uh, says that if you take an element A in the field F, and if that element is a root, then this theorem tells that x minus A must be the root of that polynomial. And conversely, if x minus A is factor, then A becomes the root. So in short, if I write this this theorem here, uh, that A is root. If and only if what? If and only if x minus a is a factor. So this is what we are supposed to prove in this particular theorem. So as usual, I will split the proof in two parts. In the first part, I will assume that let a be a root of that polynomial. Let a be root of f x. So a I am assuming to be the root. If a is root. This implies that f of a must be equal to zero because a is root. I'm going to call this statement one. I'm going to use this somewhere. Okay. Now, what we will consider is we will divide. We will divide f x by a polynomial x minus a. When I divide this polynomial f x by x minus a by division algorithm, I am going to get a quotient, and I am going to get a remainder. So there exists a quotient and remainder in the polynomial field in in, in the polynomial space such that. Dividend is equal to divided into quotient plus remainder. That is, f x is equal to divisor x minus a into quotient q x plus remainder. Where you know something about the remainder and the quotient, degree of the remainder lies between zero. It can be zero, and it is strictly less than. The degree of the divisor. Who is the divisor here? The divisor is x minus a. So this means that degree of remainder is strictly less than one, and it is greater than or equal to zero. So degree of remainder is a number which lies between zero and one, but it is less than one. So the only option left with us for degree of remainder is that. Degree of remainder has to be equal to zero. So remainder is a polynomial whose degree is equal to zero, and therefore, what can I say about the remainder? If we have a polynomial whose degree is zero, we can say that that remainder has to be a constant. The c is a constant. This r x equal to c I will substitute above. Therefore, f x is equal to x minus a. Into q x plus r x. R x is how much? R x is c. Put x equal to a. When I put x equal to a, everything will change now. What will happen? I will get f of a is equal to a minus a into q x. Sorry, q a plus c. What is f of a? How much is f of a? We have assumed that f of a is zero in the assumption, right? F of a is zero. So this is zero. This is also zero, and this is c. So I have concluded that c, which was the remainder, that is coming to be equal to how much? Zero. Therefore, this step we'll call the step star. So this step star becomes what becomes f x is equal to star becomes f x is equal to x minus a into q of x. The remainder has gone out from the picture because remainder is equal to now here zero. We have proved that the remainder is equal to zero. And if you observe this carefully, this will indicate that x minus a is a factor of f x. 
so we have proved the first part in first part we have assumed that a is a root and we have proved that x minus a is a factor of that fx part 1 took lots of efforts because i have used division algorithm therefore the converse part will be very easy the converse part will not be so difficult so what is the converse part now let x minus a be a factor of fx part 2 let x minus a be factor of fx this implies that fx is equal to x minus a into some other polynomial gx for some other gx correct and put x equal to a I put x equal to a. What will happen? I will get f of a is equal to a minus a into g of a. But a minus a is zero. So this means that f of a is equal to zero. And what have we proved? This means that a is a root of the polynomial. see the converse part is very easy that if you assume that x minus a is a factor i will write it x minus a directly and therefore when i put x equal to a x equal to a i will get f of a is equal to 0 and therefore a becomes the root of the polynomial so this now completes the the, the proof of factor theorem